Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. Before we get into the video, I'm excited to announce that I've enabled the memberships feature on YouTube. First and foremost, I'll be honest, you don't get many perks with this. I've had a number of requests for Patreon or something similar, so this is purely to answer those requests. The tiers are only really there to give some flexibility to what you might want to donate if you choose to at all. You do get some cool stuff though. You'll get a little icon next to your name if you're a member and also access to some emojis to use in the comments. The icon changes over longevity of being a member and I theme them over some of my toughest struggles. You'll start off as a little quest icon, and then after a month turn into a pie dish, then a plank, then magic glue, after that a holy symbol and ending on the strange object from Fremony Trials. So far I can only add 4 emojis, although this increases if I get members joining. So far there's some of my favourite NPCs, we've got the Gollum, Gloff, Brother Jared, and the gnome child I accidentally killed. Also every member will get their name on screen at the end of each video. Lastly I want to stress just how thankful I am for everyone watching the series, liking, commenting and the support has been shown, honestly it's amazing. Anyway, enough chat, let's get into the video. Last episode we saved the Lumbridge Guide and moved on to the requirements for saving Evil Dave. We completed the Golem quest and now it's time to take on the Shadow of the Storm. Let's get into it. Previously in the Demon Slayer questline, we met Aris in Varrock who told us of our future to defeat Delrith, a powerful demon who had been re-summoned just south of Varrock. After collecting the iconic silver light, a demon slaying weapon, we took him down. Now, Father Reen requests another task for us and silver light. We start this quest by talking to Father Reen in Alcarid. He tells us that after we revived the golem in the ruined city of Uza, a group of dark mages led by Denath had arrived and looked to summon a demon named Agrith Nar, using the same portal under the temple. Father Reen knows we have Silverlight, and he'd like us to infiltrate the group and kill the demon once they've summoned him. He tells us to go to Uza and find his monk colleague Baden. Let's go. Okay, so I've just grabbed my desert robes, I have grabbed Silverlight, I've just filled up my water skins, and it's time to head back to the city of Uza. Right, so I meant to meet a person called Baden over here. There's a monkey over there. Oh! I didn't realise I could now travel here, it looks like. So it looks like after completing the golem quest, well, there's a rug merchant here who was not here before. So I just walked here and I did not need to. Right, here is Baden. Let's talk to him. What brings you to this godforsaken desert? Reen sent me. Sarah Domin be praised. And you have Silverlight. You're willing to help us then? Tell me more about Agrith Nar. Agrith Nar is not so much a demon as a force of nature. While he's in his own dimension, his evil magics can reach everywhere in the world. No one knows how far his power extends, but Reen and I believe that much of the suffering in this world is due to him. Wow. Tell me more about Denath. We've been keeping an eye on Denath for some years now, but we've never been able to move against him. He was part of the group that summoned Delrith, but he left Rock before you arrived and defeated the demon. Ah, oh, interesting, okay. He's been studying Agrith Nar for years. When he brought his group here, we knew he was about to make his move. Okay, so what do you want me to do? You have to be in position to kill Agrith Nar as soon as he's summoned. The best way to do that is to infiltrate the group that is summoning him. Oh yes, the little infiltration quest. How can I do that? I don't know, you have to find some way to convince him you're one of them. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm not wearing my desert rose. Stick that on. What happens if I say I'd never take part in a demonic ritual? Oh, don't be so simple minded. You'll be summoning a demon in order to kill it. To rid the world of a great evil. You won't really be joining the group, just infiltrating it. Yeah, I agree. I thought I'd just ask that anyway. Right, so I need to infiltrate the group of dark wizards led by Denner so that I can be in a position to kill Agrithnar when they summon him. So I should probably go downstairs and talk to them because they're down here apparently. I think. Well, I hope they are. That's what I was told. Oh, here he is. Oh, Evil Dave. What's he doing down here? Is he, is he part of it? Oh, it is him. I want to join your group. But we're an evil group. To join you have to be evil. I am evil. You don't look evil. You certainly don't dress evil. I'm evil in disguise. Don't need to be in disguise here. We're all evil. Right, so I need to dress like an evil person, apparently. Um, Where did you get those robes? Yeah, evil, aren't they? One of the group made them. He said that he found some mushrooms in the ruins that could dye things really black. Okay, cool. So we have to dye our robes black. I don't know what type of robes, though, to be honest. Because these don't look like anything I recognise. Unless it is the desert robes. Maybe I have to make black desert robes. I can give that a go. I didn't as Evil Dave would be part of this. I don't know he's meant to be evil and stuff, but like, he's not Denath, is he? I don't know, maybe he is. Right, so it looks like I probably need to get some vials. Let's go and grab some mushrooms. Don't know how much I'm going to need, so we'll just get four. And then let's go back to the bank, because I need to, I think, unless I can just, I'm just use the mushroom on this. No, nothing interesting happens. I assume I need to do what I did in the Golem quest. So let's go to the bank and get some vials and a pestle and mortar. Right, so I've got the pestle and mortar, so let's grind these up, and then we get a black dye, and then we'll do another one. 
cool. And then can I take these desert robes off and make black desert robes? Ah, here we go. If you dye the robe black, it will no longer provide protection from the desert sun and you'll not be able to remove the dye. Okay, that's fine. I think I need to do it anyway. Let's do it. There we go. We have a black desert shirt. Uh, I think I probably need to do this, this hat as well. No, not the hat. Maybe just the bottoms. Dye the robe black. And then do I also need to do it to the boots? The shoes are too thick to dye. I don't know what that means, but I can't do it. Maybe I should just go like this. Let's try that. We look pretty evil. Yeah, let's give it a go. Right, now here's the moment of truth. Can we actually use the, the rug? Travel. Boozer, yeah, we can. Look at that. That's a nice little unlock. Okay, evil Dave. Am I evil enough? Uh, I want to join your group. To join you, you have to be evil. I am evil. You don't look evil. You don't, certainly don't dress evil. Okay, this hasn't worked. Uh, let me take the hat off and let me take the boots off. I am evil. You don't look evil. You certainly don't dress evil. Right. Okay, so maybe I need a black pair of boots and a hat, maybe? I mean, you can't dye the desert disguise black. Look, if I click on that, that doesn't work. And the boots apparently are too thick, whatever that means. So I'm thinking of maybe like a black wizard hat. I don't even know if the boots are needed, but let's go to Varrot and pick up a black wizard hat. Let's trade the Salia. There is no black wizard hat here. Why did I think there was? Let's get some leather boots whilst we're here because that might count as some dark boots. In fact, can I dye them? No, but I might I'll just pop those on and see. Uh, I think ports are in. It's probably a good place. That has a wizard hat, doesn't it? In the magic shop. Unless the magic, I don't think the magic shop down here has them, but I'm pretty convinced that Port Sarim has them. So let's go that way. Right, let's trade Betty. There we go, wizard hat. Right, let's grab that. And then do I need to dye it? I mean, it's already black. Yeah, I don't need to dye that. Okay, cool, let's pop that on. I mean, maybe this works. I don't know if I need to change my gloves as well. I mean, maybe I will actually. I'll go and grab some leather gloves from the bank. I think I have some. Right, let's grab some leather gloves. I'm thinking about my cape as well, but I don't actually have any other. No, I've got a red cape. I'll grab that. I don't know if I can dye the red cape. Oh, I can. That's cool. Right, so I've got a black cape now. Uh, and I've got my leather gloves and I'm fully evil, hopefully. Let's head back to Uza and hopefully we look evil enough. Evil Dave, am I evil enough yet? To join you have to be evil. I am evil. Yeah, I can see that. That outfit is totally evil. Let's go. Right. But what's that sword? It's far too shiny to be evil. We won't have any silver glowing swords in here. Oh, I need to make the... Okay. Uh, actually, I've got a black mushroom on me, so I can hopefully just go like that. Make some ink and then use the ink on the sword. Yeah, silver light, but it stains it black. Right, let's talk to him again. He probably just watched me do that, but never mind. There we go, your outfit's totally evil. And I love that evil black sword, there we go. Okay, I'll take you through to see Deneth. Nice. Here we go, I'm joining the evil cult. Who's that guy? Patrick, Eric, Tanya, Matthew, some good names. And here's Deneth. Master, this person wants to join us. We are one wizard short since Joseph ran away. Can you vouch for him? Yeah, he's totally evil. So you wish to join us? You've made a wise choice. When we summon the demon Agrith Knight, we grant all our worldly desires. Interesting. Yeah, why did Joseph run away? Obviously he was a coward who did not have the strength to abandon his old-fashioned morality. Isn't this wrong? Right and wrong are for the weak. This is your chance to choose to be on the side of strong and have all your desires granted. Okay, cool. What do I have to do? When I finish preparing the magic circle, we'll all recite the incantation that will summon Agrith Nar. You must memorize the incantation carefully. It is Agrith... Oh, I'm going to write this down in the same way that I did for Demon Slayer. I need to remember this phrase. So Agrith Nar. Calder Taran. Mahudu. Kama. Rintham. Cool, got that noted. You'll also need to make yourself a demonic sigil to act as a focus of power. One of the group has a mold you'll need to make it. Now, let me continue with my preparations. Right, cool. So we've joined the group. I need to speak to the wizards and find out which one has the mold. So let's talk to these guys. Let's start with uh, Jennifer. What's up? You don't understand. Understand what? Nobody understands. What don't we understand? Oh, it doesn't matter. You don't understand anyway. Okay, interesting person. Let's ask her. Do you have the demonic sigil mold? That's all you want. Here it is. Okay, that was easy enough. Jennifer seems a bit stunned. Right, that person's interesting. Let's talk to the rest of them. I know I have the mould, but I'm going to just uh, talk to them anyway. It just goes to show how little Deneth values us. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Deneth told us we'll learn all the secrets of demonic magic, but all we've done is memorise one incantation. And now he replaces poor Joseph with the next person who comes along. Interesting. Oh, hello. What was that hint about? I just talked to Patrick and he said, yeah, Agrith Nair is going to make us all rich. And I said, yeah, we'll all be rich. And then he said, I'm going to get myself a dragon longsword and a million rune ores and a small piece of coloured paper to put on my head, which is interesting. And then he says, the gems on the demon's throne look valuable. I just wish I had some way to remove them. I feel like that is some sort of hint about the throne. Maybe I need to bring a knife or a chisel with me when I come back. I think I'm going to do that. I don't know what it'd be for, but I'm going to do it because I don't know why else he'd say that. Right. Okay. So we have the sigil mold. We have to cast it in silver according to the quest log. So let's head back to Alcarid. And whilst we're here, I'm going to grab a knife and a chisel to see if I can uh, remove the gems off the throne, like that guy said. Right, let's grab a silver bar, let's grab a knife, 
and the chisel. I'm not sure what will work here. Maybe neither of those things, but I'm hoping one of them does. And now let's use the sigil mold on the furnace. That doesn't work. Use a silver bar on the furnace. Yet yeah, demonic sigil. There we go. And I can chant with this apparently. Oh, okay, that's how I have to do the actual chant itself. Okay, cool. Right, let's head back to Uza. Right, so we are back. We have the demonic sigil. I brought a knife and a chisel just in case I need to chip those gems off the throne. I'm just going to talk to Denneth first. Leave me alone. I'm preparing for the summoning ritual. You should make yourself a demonic sigil and practice the incantation with the other wizards. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So I can't actually talk to him. Maybe I have to talk to the guys again now that I have the uh, sigil. I've already spoken to all these people though. Maybe I have to ask them what happened to Joseph. I didn't do that for each one. Oh, here we go. Matthew. Denneth doesn't know this. When we joined him, Denneth told us we were going to learn all the secrets of demonic magic, but we still don't know anything. The others, they just think they're terribly evil with those sigils and their incantation they learned by rote. But Joseph and I wanted more. We wanted to know how it worked. Joseph was more curious than me. Last night, he secretly read a book that Denneth was keeping from us. He didn't know I was awake, but I saw what happened. I saw him read it, and then his face turned white, and he took the book and ran through the portal. But Denneth was waking up, and when he saw Joseph was gone, he went through the portal to look for him. A bit later, Denneth returned without Joseph or the book. Joseph didn't have money for the magic carpet, and he can't look at that fine desert at night with that heavy book. Joseph must have hidden the book somewhere in the ruins before Denneth followed him. If you could find it, we'd know what it was that frightened him. We'd know what Denneth was really up to. Right, okay, cool. So we have to go and find the book that Joseph took from Dennis. Apparently if he hid it somewhere in the ruins, I know there's a couple of chests out the front that I have searched before that uh, might contain it. So let's go and look in there. Search the crate. No, nothing in there. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. There's another crate over here which I searched before. So let's try and find if there's anything in that one. No, there's nothing in that one either. Uh, I don't think there's any other crates to be honest around here. Well, I've noticed that Father Reen's turned up though. He wasn't out here a second ago. Oh, there's a crate by the carpet actually. Let's try and see if that one's got it. No, there's nothing in that one either. Let's talk to Father Reen and see if he saw anyone leave. No, he doesn't say anything either. What about Baden? Here we go. Did you see anything happen here last night? I was sleeping last night. I'm only human after all. But I had this odd dream about fear and panic and fire. And fire, that's interesting. So I can't see where this book might be. They did say in the ruins, um... Oh, hello, what's that? Cut. Cactus. Healthy. What is this? I did not notice this last time. You've completed an easy task in the desert area. I have no idea what that just did. Can't see anything around here. Oh, did that fill up my water skins, maybe? It does. It's one of the three. That's quite cool. Did not know that existed. There's some goats. If I can find the guy, because if he dropped the book somewhere, maybe he just ran off. What's this disturbed sand? Is this hunting? I think this is hunting, isn't it? Is it hunter? I actually have no idea. I'm going to I can attack it as well. You need two more inventory slots. I don't know if this is anything to do with the quest, but I'm currently attacking the ground. No, I'm pretty sure this is a hunter area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a hunter area. Right, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm going to go to this village that I was at last time and see if Joseph's turned up. I can't see the book anywhere. Although the guy definitely said it was in the ruins. Is it maybe downstairs in the temple underground? Or oh, maybe the clay golem saw something. Let's talk to him. It's good to see a friendly face here. The priest has said nothing to me but get away, you foul construct. Oh, that's interesting. So one of the things in um, Varman's notes that I read in the last quest was that the Saradominus priests think that clay golems are like an act against God or something like that. They're like not natural creation, so they don't like them. So that's quite interesting. Um, why does Baden hate you? Actually, who might say this as well? I heard him say that. Yeah, here we go. I heard that Saradomin hates all artificial creatures. It's not always so. When I was new, the priest of Saradomin praised the ingenuity of the golem builders. I paraded through the city with my siblings, all painted in bright colors and they blessed us with holy waters we prepared for battle. You should know that I could never hurt him. The first command of the golem's mind is that it cannot allow a human being to come to harm. That's a shame. Misunderstood by today's priests. Right, did you see anything happen last night? I saw one of the men in dark robes run out of the temple. He looked very frightened and I feared for his safety. He was carrying a large book. He started to head out into the desert, but then turned back and hid the book in one of the broken kilns in which my kind were made a long time ago. Right, cool, in one of the broken kilns. Then another man came out of the temple. He said magical words and threw a fireball at the first man, turning him into dust he killed him. Fucking hell. I should have saved him. I was not fast enough to throw myself in the path of the fireball. Which kiln did he hide the book in? I cannot remember. The shock of seeing a human being killed wiped the details of the incident from my memory. Bloody hell, so Denath just killed Joseph. Right, so we can look in these broken kilns now, which is something we could not do a second ago. There we go. You find the book. Right, let's read it. The book, titled Confessions of Elamar, tells us of Elamar, who it sounds like is an old Saradomin priest. He's confessing to his theory that by learning demon lore, they can better learn to fight their enemy. He reasons that Agrith Nar is more dangerous when he's in his own realm, and so summoning him to our world would be an act of good and not evil. After coming to this conclusion, he studied books to understand exactly how to summon this demon. This book we found explains exactly how to do such a thing, including the chant that should be recited to do so. He notes that they did in fact do it, and the ritual was a success, but after summoning the demon, they tried every physical and magical means to kill him, but failed to do so. The magical cage they contained him in was beginning to weaken, and that's where the book ends, as the last page had been torn out. 
Right, now that we've found the book, we should show it to Matthew. Did you find that book? The golem saw Joseph hide it in one of the broken kilns in the city. Did the golem see what happened to Joseph? It said Deneth killed him. I knew Deneth was a dark wizard, but I didn't think he'd kill one of his disciples. Let me look at the book then. I don't understand. What's in here that Deneth thought was worth killing Joseph over? Joseph must have worked something out, but what? But look at the incantation in the book. The words are in reverse order to that which Deneth taught us. The incantation in the book is backwards. More likely, the book has the correct incantation and the one Deneth taught us was backwards. But what does this mean? I'm not happy about this ritual. I don't think Agrith Nara is going to grant all our wishes. I think he's going to kill us all. If I try to stop it, Deneth will kill me like he did to Joseph. Don't worry, I'm here to kill the demon. Or oh, I've just told him my little lie. Matthew might be in, in on all this. This is the demon slaying sword Silverlight, the only weapon that can kill Agrith Nara. Thank goodness. I think Deneth is nearly ready for the ritual. We must prepare. Okay, cool. All right, let's go and talk to Deneth. Matthew doesn't seem to be in it, but right, he doesn't actually... Oh, it's time for the ritual to commence. I don't know what just happened there, but it's changed. Right, let's go. So do I do the correct one or do I do the one that he's told me to do? I think I should do the one that he's told me to do anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to get in combat with this beast. So I'm now leading the incantation. Right, uh, so the first word is it's Agrithnar. I'm going to do the one that he told me, I think, maybe. Oh, should I or should I not? Oh, I don't know if I should have done the backwards one. And I've already forgotten the backwards one. I don't know if it starts with Camarinthum. I might have fucked this up. Oh, I think I just accidentally started it again. I'm going to do it again from the start. And I'm going to do the backwards one that he told me i think that might be stupid but i'm gonna do it anyway kaldar taran nahudu camarinthum a magical circle appears in the floor oh my god he's just teleported away where'd he go how can we be so stupid what happened what do you get when you perform a summoning ritual backwards denith was agrinar all along we've just helped him return to his own dimension look the portal's closing evil dave's running away they're all running away who knows what denith could do now we've got to perform the ritual again so you can kill agrinar but we need eight people you got to get those people to come back, and you better take Dennis Sigil and find one more person to help. Bollocks, I really hope that wasn't like an... I, does this game have, like, alternate pathing? If I'd just done it backwards, would they have all followed? I don't think so. I think I have to do this. Oh my god, Tanya dying. Did Tanya just die? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Eric's fucking crushed. Good lord. What a disaster. Right, so Tanya and Eric are dead. Let's talk to Evil Dave. You've got to get back to the throne room. But the portal is closing. We'll be trapped. Our only hope is to summon Agrithnar again so I can kill him. But we need eight people. You better take this then. It was Eric's sigil. Everyone in the ritual will need one. Cool. Okay, so we've got Evil Dave back on board. Um, I'm wondering if the monks might come in. I need to find three more people to help with the ritual so I can am summon Agrithnar. Oh man, could the golem come in? That would be sick. Oh my god, I've been hit by falling rocks. Oh, it's all sandstormy. You must fight your way against the sandstorm. Jesus, let's talk to the golem. It's a terrible thing for a demon to be victorious. I wish there was something I could do to rectify the situation. Yes, mate, you can. You can help me summon the demon again so I can kill him. I cannot do that. It's forbidden for a golem to enter the portal. Oh, man. I really need you, mate. A golem cannot disobey the commands in its mind. I could just reprogram you again. That is true. Perhaps if you open my head and remove the instruction concerning the portal, I'll be able to help you. Okay, cool. But there must have been a reason why my builders imposed this restriction. I do not know what would happen to me if I went through the portal. <laughs> oh, I don't want him to die. Why is it forbidden? I don't know. I was not privy to the thoughts of my designers. Now they cannot be asked. Oh, man. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it to bring the clay golem in and grab the key and take the, the note out of his head. Because I need the golem. I don't know who else to ask. I mean, I'd be gutted if he died. Right, let's grab the strange implement. You open the golem's head and search through the dusty scrolls inside. You find one that says, Thou shalt not enter the portal of Thamaron and remove it. Right, cool. Now the clay golem can come down. What are we waiting for? What do I need to do? Take this demonic sigil and go through the portal. Go on, little man. Please don't die on me. Right, now the two monks, hopefully. Oh, God, there's a sandstorm, right? There's a little tornado. I assume I have to avoid that. Right, Reen, hurry up. Oh, is it coming for me? Please don't move on to me. No, okay. You've got to help me perform the ritual again so I can kill him. Yes, you can, mate. Don't be so simple-minded. Let's use the same words against him. There we go, we convinced him. Right, you get down there, Reen. Badden. You've got to help me summon him again. All right, he didn't take much convincing. Go on, Baden. Right, so we've got three more people. Let's head downstairs. Jesus Christ, man. Look at Eric. Poor bloke. Right, let's go down. I think we've got everything we need. Is the clay golem here? Oh my God, he's not here. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Right, let's talk to Matthew, maybe? Don't know where he is. There he is. Let's talk to Matthew. Are you ready to summon Agrithnar and slay him? I am. Actually, I should read the backwards incantation first. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so it starts off Camarinthum. Okay, cool, so it's exactly backwards, right? Let's go. Here we go. Everyone, get in your positions. Get in there. And then... Chant. Right. Camarinthum. Nahudu. Taran. Kaldar. And then finally, Agrith Nar. Bring him back. Hey, there he is. Oh my god, he's level 100. Fucking hell. He's screaming at Matthew. Don't kill him. How dare you summon me? 
Oh my god, he just killed Matthew. He didn't summon you. I did. Then prepare to die. Let's go get that on. Get some... I think he's using magic, so I'm going to turn that on. I've only got six food. I didn't think this through. Oh, I hit a 14. That's not bad. Oh my god, Matthew's bones. So I should probably just switch to melee, actually. Because I actually have quite solid... No, I don't. I'm getting hit. He actually changes based on what I'm using, so I'm going to go back to magic now. Oh, jeez. He's actually killing me. Let me use some boosting prayers, because I have a prayer potion on me. Give me some good hits. Nice. That's, that's not bad. Come on, keep going. I don't know if this is a stab or a slash weapon, but seems to be doing okay at the moment. We've got four food left. Nice. Another nice hit. A couple more hits. That's all we need. We've got two more food. Eleven. Yes, come on. One more hit. Nice, there we go. As you strike the final blow, Silverlight is drenched with Agrifnar's foul-smelling ichor. You try to wipe Silverlight clean, but Agrifnar's blood has fused with the blade. You heft the sword and sense it has become more powerful. You feel the power flowing up into your arm. You can do Oh, I didn't get to read that. I don't know what just happened there. Dark light. It's become dark light. I forgot about that. Oh, I can't believe Matthew died. Silver light feels strange. Maybe I should unequip it and see what's happened to it. Oh, okay, this is now doing it again. You can direct it into any combat skill. Oh, okay, cool. Um, What's the best one for me to use it on? Maybe magic? It's the one that costs the most money. Prayer isn't on here. Yeah, let's do magic. 10k magic XP. Not bad. You completed Shadow of the Storm. One quest point, 10k magic XP, and dark light. And Matthew fucking died. And now these lot are just chilling out down here. Let's go and talk to the clay golem. Demon is dead. Regret. Could not assist. Don't worry, golem. You've done enough demon slaying. This guy is becoming one of my favourite characters. I hope we get to do more stuff with him. Probably not, though. Uh, what about Evil Dave? Thank goodness that's over. I'm not going to try to be evil anymore. From now on, I'm going to be good. That's nice. A little redemption arc for Evil Dave. What about Patrick? What's he saying? Oh, yeah. So that means I can pick off the... I forgot he said that. So can I use this knife on the throne? No. What about the chisel? You need a hammer as well to get the gems. You can. So I think you can actually get the gems off of this. I need a hammer, though. I'm going to go and get a hammer. Why not? All right, I've come back armed with a hammer and everyone has gone, I've just realised. I was hoping to talk to more people, but oops, never mind. Right, let's use a chisel on the throne. <laughs> yeah, nice, you prize the gems from the demon's throne. That's quite a nice little feature, so I've just got two emeralds, two sapphires and two rubies. Unfortunately, they're all cut, so I don't get any crafting XP for that, but, you know, I can sell them or buy them into some jewellery, which is good better than nothing um, and yeah everyone else is gone so no more talking to people around here but back to the main reason we did this now that we have just completed shadow of the storm we have all the requirements we needed to start saving evil dave in recipe for disaster so let's head over to lumbridge all right let's inspect evil dave to free evil dave you must make a stew but it must be seasoned in a very particular way the only way to find the recipe would be to ask someone who has tasted the stew who could that be I guess Evil Dave could be it. Yeah. Remember that from the point of view of the outside world, anything you do in here has already happened. Here we go. So we need to talk to Evil Dave outside the time bubble. Yep. And he lives in Edgeville with his mother in her basement. I'll make no judgment about that. All right, cool. So Evil Dave lives in the basement of his mum. I think I remember that uh, in Edgeville. So let's head to Edgeville, I think. I need to complete Gertrude's cat for this quest. That was one of the prerequisites. Um, it doesn't show it now, but it was one of the requirements. So I'll get my cat as well because it looks like I'll probably need that. Let's head to Edgeville. Right, so if I remember correctly, Evil Dave lives down here. I think this is the trap door and his mum is Doris. All right, let's go down the trap door. Right, what are all these hell rats? Yeah, this is going to be fun. I kind of vaguely remember this. Don't remember what to do, but I know that you have to use your cat to catch rats or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's talk to Evil Dave. Welcome to my basement of doom. Yeah, weren't you going to give up being evil? I did try. I wore this bright red jumper and I got up in the morning and spent my day outside in the sunshine. Couldn't keep it up. Sometimes I worry about the consequences of evil. I don't really want anyone to get hurt. Not like what happened with Danath. But I can't not be evil. It's just who I am. Okay, so Evil Dave is sort of evil again, but not really. Right, what did you eat at the secret council meeting? I need to make that exact food in order to save you from the culinary romance's spell. I've got to try and convince him. I'm going to say, you've got to tell me because the magic requires it. All right, now that makes perfect sense. There you go. What was it? It was like this totally evil stew. I need to reproduce the stew. So can you describe it in more detail? Well, it tasted like the stews my mum made. She puts these spices in them. But it was like she'd got the amounts totally right this time. Cool, I better talk to your mum. Right, let's go and talk to the mum. Hello, Doris. May I use your spices for making stew? You can if you can find them. Dave's hell rats stole them all. I better go and kill some hell rats then. And how do I kill these things? Do I have to talk? To oh, I can use chase maybe? Go on, puss, kill the rat. Didn't seem to kill it. Uh, is this what I'm meant to be doing? I need to have my cat catch the hell rats in order to get the spices. Then use these spices to make a special stew for Dave. I should then ask him to taste it to see if it tastes right. Okay, so I have to get some stews. And I think I just have to click chase on my cat a number of times. And hopefully it goes off these rats and then I get the spices from them. At the moment, it's not being very successful. I don't know if that's because it's a kitten and not a fully grown cat. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I guess I'll just keep trying. 
Doesn't seem to be working so far. I don't know what this curtain is, but it's some sort of big version. Oh no, okay, that's not. I can't do that yet. Oh, there we go. Got a yellow spice three. Well done, little kitten. Let's grab that. I don't know what stew I'm putting this in. Uh, just a normal stew? So I've got three yellow spice. I don't know how much I need of anything, though, to be honest. I don't know if I should carry on doing this. I might go and talk to the mum now that I've got some spice. Did you make your stew? I haven't been able to make some stew that Dave likes yet. I just have to try different things and see what he likes. Okay, so I think I just have to keep trying different types of combinations. Right, so she doesn't tell me anything about stew. I think I need to make a bunch of stews. How do you even make stews? So I need to obtain a bowl and fill it with water from a sink or fountain. And then I need to pick a potato and place it in the bowl. I then need to get some cooked meat and place that in the bowl. Then cook the whole thing by using it on a fire. All right, cool. Let's go and get a bunch of bowls then, I guess. Oh, nice, I've got some potatoes already. Right, I need some meat to put into these stews. So I think I'm gonna go and uh, probably kill some cows, maybe? Does chicken actually, does chicken count? Like a chicken. Okay, I don't have any chickens either. Don't think I can make a fish stew. Or can I? Let's try that. Let's see if we can put a tuna in the stew. Sort of don't feel like it's going to work. But let's give it a go. Right, so we fill up the uh, bowl in the sink. Now we have a bowl of water. Then we put a potato in it. And we make an incomplete stew. There we go. And then can we put the tuna in there? No. No, I think it needs to be cooked meat. Right, okay. Okay, let's go and kill some cows, I guess. Don't really know what else to do. But we may as well. It should be fairly straightforward. Um, where's the best place to do this? I mean, I'm thinking Lumbridge, but that's not close to a bank. I need to collect a bunch of meat. How can I do this? Unless there's meat in the Lumbridge basement. There might well be. Let's go and see if there's meat in the Lumbridge basement that I can just buy. There doesn't seem to be any meat here, but I feel like there would be somewhere. Let's look for some food shops. There's that one in Port Sarim. Don't think I'll use that. There are two in Ardy. There are quite a few around. There's a lot. I think there's a load in the gnome place. Oh, there's also that one in the uh, Warriors Guild. I've got quite a few options. Let's try the gnome place first because that has been very helpful a lot of the time. So hopefully we can buy some raw meat from that shop because that would make it much easier because I don't really want to spend ages killing cows. All right, food shop number one. I think there's a couple over here. Uh, is it the waiter? I don't think it's the waiter, is it? No, that's those ones. Is it this guy, Hudo? Uh, he's got a load of stuff, but he doesn't have any raw meat. Right, okay. Don't think there's anyone else on this side. Uh, let's try another barman only sells the pre-made drinks. I think this guy just sells fruit. Yeah, he doesn't have it either. Right, okay. Let's actually just try the uh, Warriors Guild food shop real quick. Right, what's this guy got? I know he's got some good food. Oh, he's got pre-made stews. That is perfect. Oh, what a dream. Right, let's buy a ton of those. Right, so I've got 91 stew. That should be enough, I hope. I bloody hope that's enough. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a while. Let's grab some. I'll also grab some fish for my cat. And then let's head back to Evil Dave. And I think it's just a case of literally feeding them to him. I've got this yellow spice. I can put that in there. Now I've added, see, one yellow spice to the stew. I am unsure if I add it again, if that's going to change anything. So I want to feed this one to him first. I have no idea how many colours there are of spice because obviously this is yellow but the more colours the more combinations or potential combinations there are. So yeah, I this is going to potentially take ages or potentially this spicy stew is the one that he needs so hopefully let's get incredibly lucky let's give him this one to taste and maybe he's just like yeah that's perfect spot on. Go and feed it to me. Sort of don't think that's going to happen but you never know. Right so let's use that is quite close I might accidentally click that at some point what can i do with smell what does that do okay so here we go actually i can see here so there's red yellow orange and brown spice so there's four types of spice uh, and there's a little yellow spice i wonder if it's like a medium amount and then a, a lot so there's four colors and potentially three amounts for each one so there's some math on that you can figure out how many combinations there might be yeah let's just uh, use this on evil dave and see if this is the one could you taste this stew please that's nothing like the stew i tasted all the spices are wrong right okay cool um so that means he's just drank the whole thing I thought he was going to take a little sip of it. Jesus Christ. I'm going to get a notepad up and do a little yellow, red, brown. And I've forgotten the last color. So let me put this in here again and then smell it again. Red, yellow, orange, and brown. Right, orange. Right, so he said all the spices are wrong. So we had one yellow in there. So it could be two yellow or three yellow, I assume. So let's put two yellow in this one. Yes, yeah, so and that's some yellow spice instead of a little bit. Try and taste that. Oh, here we go. I think you've got the right amount of one spice, but the others are wrong. Perfect. So we know that yet it needs two yellow spice two yellow spice okay that worked out pretty easily we should have to do that for each color i think right go on cat we need more spice there 
Oi, there we go. Right, cool, we got a red spice for. Okay, so let's try this out. So let's use a red spice on this, and then let's get him to eat this one. So this is one red spice. Okay, all the spices are wrong, so we know it's not one. Let's try two, and then get him to taste that. That's nothing like it, all the spices are wrong. Right, okay, cool. So it's more than two red spice. So unfortunately, he drinks the whole thing. He can't just take a sip of the bowl, so I need more red spice now to confirm if it's three red spice or not. And I don't know if you need a single spice of every single one, if that makes sense. So I don't know if there's a chance that it might be zero red spice. In fact, can I just have him eat this stew? Yeah, okay, no, it doesn't have any spice in it at all. That can't be right. Okay, cool. So I think it needs I think it needs one of each, maybe. Maybe not though. So it could be three. I don't even know if three's a maximum to be honest. I wonder if you can put four in a stew. I don't know. Uh anyway, look, we need we need more spice anyway. So let's get back to killing some of these rats. Oi, there we go, brown spice. Right, let's grab that. Um, we haven't done brown spice, so let's use that on there. And then use that on Evil Dave. Perfect, right, you've got the right amount of one spice. So with brown spice only needs one. Brown, let's write it down. One needed. And that is brilliant because we already have two left. So let's pop that down to the bottom of my inventory. That is good. We've still got quite a way to go yet. Oi. Oh, fucking hell, it's a brown spice. I didn't need that one. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, okay, never mind. Let's carry on. Oh my god, back to back. Well done. Right, one yellow spice. Annoyingly, that is not helpful. I need two yellow spice. So, unless I get another one yellow spice drop, that was a bit of a waste. Oh. Yes, yellow spice, four, right, cool, nice. So we have enough yellow spice now. Now we just need red spice and, oh, back to back again. What the fuck? Um, my kitten just changed into a hell kitten. Uh, let me dismiss this. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I probably could use that. That's stupid. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. This just changed to a hell kitten. That's cool. I didn't know that happens. I mean, I remember that you can get a hell cat, but I didn't know that you get it via doing this. I thought you get it something else. Right, cool. Hopefully this makes it more successful at killing stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, brown spice again. I don't know why I'm picking that up. I don't need it. Oh, I've just thought of something. Yeah, I've just thought of something as I've been doing this. I need to pick up every single spice I can get because even if I make the perfect stew, he's going to eat it. So I need to... I need to make two essentially, unless I can just hopefully count. Oh, nice. Red spice. Perfect. That is what we need. Let's go. Right. Okay, cool. So now moment of truth. Can you add three red spice to a single stew? Add that, add that, and then one more and then smell it. A lot of red spice. Right. So let's just get him to eat this. Yeah, cool. You've got the right amount of one spice, but the others are wrong. Perfect. So we need three red spice, three needed. See, the problem is I could have probably predicted that and I wouldn't have had to use the red spice, but the problem is I don't know if you can get four in there, like four spice, I'm not sure, maybe you can. So now I need red spice again. Lastly, we just need orange, and orange, I don't think I've even received a drop of orange spice yet. So hopefully we get lucky and get one soon. And then fingers crossed when I do get it, it only requires like one dose of it. Hey, what did it get? Red spice, yes, we need that, perfect, nice. All right, let's grab that and let's carry on. Oh, did it get it? Yeah, it did. Oh, orange spice too. Nice. Okay, cool. So let me use orange spice one time on this stew. And then hopefully, come on, say it's the right amount. Say it's the right amount. Perfect. Yes. Yes, that is the right amount. Okay, cool. Orange spice only needs one. So I think we've actually got all the right ingredients now because we only need one orange spice and I have one stew left. I mean, I've got like 80 in the bank, but never mind. So if my notes are correct we put one orange spice in there we then put one brown spice in there we then put three red spice in there and then we put two yellow spice in there cool so we have a spicy stew so now if i didn't have to get all the spices again i'd use it on him to make sure it's the right one but i feel like this is this has to be right i've confirmed each individual color so my thought process now is i can just go and use this on him in lumbridge I assume. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Like, what can go wrong? Surely nothing can go wrong here by just using this one on him. I'm pretty convinced I've got the right amount. Because if he if he tastes it and he's like, yeah, that's the right one, then it confirms that I've got the right uh, ingredients, but I'll need to make it all again, which will take ages. So let's just, let's just give this a go. Right, let's use the spicy stew on Evil Dave. 
Oh, you should make sure that's the correct recipe first. That's so annoying. He's going to drink it and I'm going to have to make it all again. Right, okay, I guess we have to do it anyway. I'm praying that because it's the right one, maybe there's a mechanic where he just taste, takes like a sip of it and doesn't eat the whole thing. Because otherwise I need to get another red spice drop. I would need to get another orange spice drop. And I think I actually have the rest. I have enough brown and enough yellow. But I need to get another red and orange drop. So please don't eat the whole thing, mate. Right. Moment of truth. Is he going to eat the whole thing? Use that on him. Could you taste the stew, please? Totally evil. That's exactly how the stew tasted. Don't eat it all. Yes. Get in. He doesn't eat the whole thing. And now I just have to go back in time and give it to your earlier self. Yes, he didn't eat it. Right. Cool. Let's go back to Lumbridge. I'm so glad they put that in. That saved me so much time. Right. Now, extremely careful that we do not eat this. Let's click use on Evil Dave. Hey, there we go, 7k cooking XP. There we go, one quest point, 7k cooking XP. The ability to make spicy stew, the ability to own a Hellcat, which I've already got, and increased access to the chest. And with that, there's only one person left to save, and that is Ceramic Vase, which requires the Legends quest. So that is our next goal. Let's go.